Hi guys, I'm Seat from Warhawk Defense and we have come to the end of the year. The year has been tough for Ukraine, but here we are, we are paying attention. We had a lot of events and good videos this year and we have made a selection of best footages and the best events from Ukraine. We had several attacks on Crimean bridge, we had attacks in Russia itself on Russian installation and there was Prigozhin mutiny. Let's see the whole compilation. We admit that it was not easy to choose the best videos from Ukraine last year because the competition is really strong. But we decided to do the same as last year, a combination of good videos and the main events that marked the year. At the very beginning of the year, there was a Ukrainian attack on Makivka, where Ukrainian ground forces launched a rocket strike on the building of Professional Technical School. Ukrainian officials claimed that the attack killed 400 Russian troops, while Russian officials initially confirmed that 63 troops were killed, but raised the death toll to 89 two days later. Ukrainian officials have called the Battle of Vuladar the biggest tank battle of the war, with over 130 Russian armored vehicles destroyed, including 36 tanks in the course of the battle, mostly during February and March. 5,000 Russian soldiers were killed, wounded, or captured. The war in Ukraine marked the end for Yevgeny Prigozhin and his mercenary group Wagner. But in the first part of the year, Wagner was very relevant, and then the first video appeared that showed how Prigozhin recruited murderers, rapists, and thieves from Russian prisons to fight and die in Ukraine in the greatest numbers. The year has also been marked by Ukrainian attacks on Russian territory. In April, armed groups from Ukraine carried out a cross-border raid into Belgorod Oblast. Two Russian rebel groups allied with and based in Ukraine, the Freedom of Russia Legion and the Russian Volunteer Corps, claimed to have taken control of several border settlements and clashed with Russian government forces. The Polish Volunteer Corps also participated in the raid. <laughs> Ukrainian drones have kept the residents of Moscow awake all year, but the attack on the Kremlin itself also hit a weak spot in the Russian ego. Signs that things between Prigozhin and the Russian military leadership were not the best were felt throughout the year, but Prigozhin became more and more angry and crazier. And then the expected happened. The Wagner Rebellion and the capture of the Russian Southern Command in Rostov on the Don. The Wagner family also went to Moscow later, but stopped after an agreement with the Belarusian dictator Lukashenko. The amazing thing is that the Wagner fighters meet zero resistance from Russian armed forces. This is a video of the takeover of the Southern Military District in Rostov, and you can see Prigozhin calmly talking to the Russian commander of the Southern Command. They simply sit like two friends, although the face of the Russian commander shows fear and humility in relation to Prigozhin. He behaves like a prisoner who is allowed to move. The Russian armed forces are simply not offering any resistance to the Wagnerites, and that should seriously worry Putin. 
This proved to be a fatal decision for Prigozhin's health as his plane fell from the sky in a giant fireball. Ukraine also attacked the Crimean Bridge several times. One of the more serious attacks happened in July when the Ukrainian Navy attacked the Crimean Bridge with two suicide sea drones, damaging a span of the road bridge. This event was not of great importance in itself, but the Chechen units fighting on the Ukrainian side recorded one of the most colorful combat videos here when they ambushed a Russian military vehicle in Belgorod on Russian territory. Now we know that the Ukrainian counteroffensive did not live up to expectations, but this video of Russian soldiers running headlong from the Robotine, leaving a little girl alone on the street, left people breathless around the world and once again showed the unscrupulousness of the Russian occupiers. The defection of the Russian pilot together with the Mi-8 helicopter to the Ukrainian side surprised many in Ukraine itself. The entire operation was organized by the Ukrainian intelligence service. The seizure of Russian oil platforms in the Black Sea by Ukrainian special forces was another blow to Russian maritime dominance and the breaking of the naval blockade.
In the attack on Russian port of Sevastopol in September, beside a ship, Russia lost the first submarine in battle since the World War II. Another one of the most spectacular shots is the attack on the headquarters of the Russian Black Sea Fleet in Sevastopol, where newly acquired British Storm Shadow missiles were used. This event is not important for Ukraine, but it is for Warthog Defense. My first appearance in front of the audience. Hi guys, I'm Seat, owner of Warthog Defense. The attack of the Ukrainian special forces in Crimea was a shock for the Russians, but also a symbolic message that nowhere is safe. The rest of Wagner's mercenaries were nowhere safe either. Ukrainian special forces found them even in Africa. Ukrainian special forces conduct operations in Sudan against the Russian Wagner PMC and their local allies from the Rapid Support Forces, who tried to stage a coup d'etat in April. This is incredible news for us, because it shows the capabilities of the Ukrainian army, which manages to match the Russians, not only in Ukraine, but also manages to attack targets in Russia but also to operate in Africa, where the Russians are trying to expand their influence. What at the beginning of the year was a Vuladar the Russians, in the second half it was an Avdiivka. The Russians have lost hundreds of armored vehicles and thousands of soldiers in endless and senseless human waves attacks on the Ukrainian defense. The storm shadow turned another Russian ship into a submarine, this time the Corvette Askold. This is also one of the best footages of the war mysterious explosion on Russian positions, which is still debated on warthog defense. What is it? And for the perfect end of the year, another strike on Crimea, where Ukraine completely destroyed huge Russian landing ship. As stated by British intelligence, Russia lost 20% of its Black Sea fleet, and Putin's naval armada is slowly pushed out of the Black Sea. This time, the large landing ship Novo Cherkask, thanks to the Air Force pilots and everyone involved. Earlier tonight, at around 3 a.m. local time, explosions were reported in the area of Feodosia. A ship with Iranian ammunition was reportedly blown up and a fire broke out in the port. 
According to Russian-affiliated media, residents reported hearing loud bangs and seeing plumes of smoke and traffic on the Crimean bridge was blocked. This is it guys, thanks for watching, I hope you liked this compilation of the previous events and let's all of us have a better year. And don't forget, stay strong. Thanks for watching and don't forget to subscribe. Also, if you want to support Warthog Defense, please become our member and get early access to new videos, exclusive members only videos and become administrator in comment section. The membership link is in the description. Rescues. Every day we had a guy last week at six rescues in six days. You know, he's doing the job every day.